is one readiness. This is Adam. Hey, this video I am literally mimicking uh, from Pastor Joe Fox because I think it's very important and I know he will understand. We've had discussions off and on about these things. And this is about the coronavirus situation. And the question is, and I'm going to mimic him, what are you doing? What are you doing to prepare for this potential really bad thing? Now, I'm going to do exactly what he did, too. Don't want to hear no statistics. I want you to comment below on this video. Don't need to hear statistics. Don't need to hear, I heard this from Billy Bob Joe or whatever, or I heard or I saw this other video about all this horrible stuff happening over here. Don't need to hear any of that. Nothing else. All I want in the comments is what you, you personally are doing to prepare for this coronavirus event, whether it happens in your area or not. Simply put, there are things everybody are focusing on are masks, hygiene, things like that. Uh, I could do a whole video on that, which are great. Um, but I think people are losing sight a little bit of looking at what if I have to remain isolated in my home for a month or more? How do I uh, receive communication on updates of what's going on with this virus? How do I communicate with uh, my loved ones or other members of my tribe or my neighbors? Um, just things, uh, preparedness things. If you're shut up in the house for a month or more, how are my kids going to handle this? Uh, what am I going to do to keep them entertained and calm? Uh, so tell me, what are you doing personally to prepare for this uh, event going around with the coronavirus? Um, me personally, uh, I'm good on pandemic supplies. Uh, I'm good on a lot of supplies. I'm adding meat to my freezer. Uh, topping off a few odds and ends, uh, and uh, putting out a lot of prayers. Um, if you don't think it can touch you, uh, I'll give you my personal example. Not, not even an hour ago, my daughter and my son-in-law live in Florida, north of Orlando. A moving truck came up and packed their entire house up two days ago uh, because they're moving to the North Carolina Raleigh area. They bought a house up there. Uh, they close on this house January 31st. I just got a call from my son-in-law this morning. My daughter's in the hospital with fever and respiratory issues. They tested her. Uh, she doesn't have pneumonia and she doesn't have the flu. She has an unknown virus. That's all I know. So as a father, uh, I'm going to ask for your prayers on my for my daughter. Um, but yeah, what are you doing? Comment below. Uh, you may be doing something that nobody has thought about, and they need to start thinking about it. Um, but yes, I'll, po I'll post, a, like I said, I'm, I'm, this is Phase 1 Readiness. Uh, my name is Adam. I have a Facebook page. I just formed it last night. I'm going to start putting stuff on there. It just makes it a little easier. If you want to look up and like my Facebook page and, and look on there, it's easier to condense all my stuff I'm doing on that one page. So it's Phase the number one dash readiness uh, it's on Facebook do a search on it I literally opened it up last night and uh, let me know on the bottom of this video or uh, wherever I post this video on the different pages that are out there uh, you might help somebody by listing what you know that they haven't thought about all right guys be safe uh, use caution uh, use hygiene uh, really think about hygiene um, as if it was a severe flu it's it's several notches above that but uh be safe out there uh, phase one readiness this is adam take care god bless all y'all